Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family, guys. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable. Tasha spilled the tea straight, no chaser. <laughs> I got strawberry juice. <laughs> Remember to use your discernment when watching my readings. I could be saying he, it could be a she, it could be saying they. You know the drill, guys. So tap in with me and let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm. This reading's gonna be nice and sweet. <laughs> So, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Oracles of the Highest White Light. I call you in and I ask for a clear, precise channel message for my beautiful collective. What are we tapping into? Anything other than the Highest White Light, I'm closing that door now. And I want to say thank you to all the people who donate, the people who take the time to inbox me and let me know, you know, how their day was. For everybody who takes the time to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, okay? So, the what's popping out in this pre-shuffle is the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Coins, and the Page of Wands. Now, you could be, the bottom of the deck, it's the Ten of Coins. Now, could be a family, could be a, a corporation, it could be spiritual wealth, okay? It could be you having this wealth. It could be a group watching you. You're getting some kind of information, some kind of brand new opportunity, some kind of pattern you're looking at. It's going to take a lot of willpower to see the lies with this family or that people see you as the Ten of Pentacles, but they don't want to give you the retribution. Okay? The Eight of Pentacles there in reverse talks about someone not being able to, you know, do the work. Or <laughs> Okay, now we have the Hangman, the King of Coins, and the Ace of Swords. All right, this King of Coins is coming to some kind of clarity or realization. They feel like they need to sacrifice something. Now, this could be you guys. In this energy, male or female, somebody has got some kind of legacy and they wanted to stop you from it, wanted to make you feel mediocre or like you didn't deserve this. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles, show me what's going on. Remember, this could be your energy, 222 on my clock. This could be an energy around you or this could be an energy um, that you know nothing about playing in your energy. So please, use it through your discernment. You know your story best. Don't shoot the messenger, guys, okay? We have the Four of Swords, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Three of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Now, somebody is healing from a heartbreak. These third parties, the Three of Cups in reverse. Somebody has mastered themselves, but only after this near-death experience of knowing that your family or this corporation weren't exactly going to be there for you, didn't exactly have the best interest at heart for you. But you are out of this mental entrapment. You don't care what everybody else is doing or what everybody else thinks because you are legit yourself. And of course, these third parties are going to feel some kind of way, but you're out of a mental enchantment. Prison of the mind, purgatory, and actual jail. These third parties might have wanted you to go to jail because they feel some kind of way because of this heartbreak. Now, they could be heartbreak broken because somebody sees you as legacy and is coming towards you. It could be a king of pentacles. It doesn't have to be. That's an earth sign. does not have to be. The Nine of Swords. This is why somebody is really up in their head because you're going towards something new. Because you have mastered yourself. You have healed something that this third party didn't want you to heal. Yeah, it's the Ten of Swords. There was a lot of betrayal, a lot of abandonment, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of manipulation. But you have healed from this. And this is why somebody is very much up in their head and they can't sleep, they can't eat. And it's the energies that want it bad for you because... You ain't doing bad. Yeah, it's the Page of Cups. And it's in reverse. So somebody clearly... Uh, it's the Five of Cups. Coins. So somebody feels left out. Spiritual lack, spiritual poverty. Take it as it resonates. Because somebody didn't want to give you um, respect. Very immature with that Page of Cups kind of energy. They didn't think about logically what they were choosing to do. And now they're paying the consequences for this. Somebody needs to protect themselves because... Ace of Pentacles. 
Mm-hmm. You are the fucking gift. Somebody should have. I spoke to Rich. They always come in three. <laughs> You are the gift. That's clarity, guys. Okay, now somebody sees you as valuable. And they should have thought about that when they had the opportunity to treat you well. What it looks like to me is somebody is in a bit of regret. Okay, maybe they feel like they can't come into your fortress. That's that page of coins in reverse. Somebody feels like they can't, they don't learn. They don't know any better. They they just don't want to learn. <laughs> and this is why they missed out on opportunity. But at the same time, losing opens us up for a new opportunity. So we have to be willing to make mistakes, to you know, take that leap of faith, even if we're going to land on our face, because 555 is on the clock. Major fucking change, guys. And you know what's in my head? It's the four of wands. Sometimes we have to fail in order to see exactly what we need. Sometimes we need to go through the mud and, you know, meet a lot of uh, frogs before we kiss a prince. It is what it is, guys. The same thing goes if you're a man, you know, flip the rules and do what you see fit with this reading. Make sure that you do not make it fit if it does not fit, okay? Um, tarot is for entertainment. If you want a more personal reading inbox me and i'd love to dig into your cards okay guys so spirit what's going on here what else do you want me to you have this attitude of gratitude okay so you have some kind of foundation but it's only because you went through that dark night of the soul so it wasn't exactly you know fun and you probably had a lot of people talking shit about you because they didn't understand your journey. You know, our journey is not the same as the person next to us. You know, the same as our mothers or our brothers or our cousins or anything. You know, we got our own journey and this is why the lovers is in the upright and the cup is in the upright. <laughs> we learn to love on ourselves. The duality, the light and the dark. You got the lovers, the four of wands, and the big, huge, agape love <laughs> for self. But sometimes we have to be really immature and say, okay, listen, like, I didn't do that right. It's like that energy of right person, wrong time, or, you know, any kind of thing. So if it's a job, you know, it's the, the right job, but wrong timing. You know what I mean? So take it as it resonates, put yourself where you belong, like I said, but you have a king of cups here. Somebody does love you. And like I said, this external energy that was trying to block it, these third parties are really upset. Really upset because somebody has went inwards. Somebody felt the bad vibes that were going on with these third parties and this heartbreak. And they seen what it really was. And now somebody is coming in with some kind of love. Oh, it's the moon. Yeah, whatever's in the dark comes to light when it comes to this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Somebody feels like their whole world has been shot to shit because of the choice that they made. Tower in verse. Somebody um, chose something and now can't come back from it. And whatever they chose is coming out. It has caused a major wheel in their life. Like they really should have thought about um, maybe resting a little bit. Somebody did like, it was like an overkill kind of energy, okay? They just did so much excess, you know, whether this is, um, you know, slander or whatever this is. I don't know what this is. It's a knight of coins. Somebody did this over and over and over continuously, and you needed to take the courage. Bev, what's up? You want me to pause that? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, patience, okay? So you decided to have some patience and courage and justice. So the justice coming in, it's because you really had the wisdom and courage to go towards something that you really, really wanted. Even if there was this deception and this tower somebody avoiding an inevitable all that did was put them in the wheel of fortune in reverse so if these darker energies or friends family members exes whatever this is decided to do whatever they chose to do in the lower vibrational energy towards you inevitably not 
owning up to what they were supposed to. Justice is coming in, which means that they're sitting in the energy that they wanted for you. This is why I say be careful, 10-10, ten, ten, divine timing, guys. So we just sit back, sit pretty, and we wait for things to come in. Because at the end of the day, the sun is in reverse. Yo, somebody is sad. Maybe because they can't come in as this knight in shining armor, this love offer, or because they're on this concrete throne, not willing to be sensitive, take it as it resonates, or because they're oversensitive. And they're all up in their feelings because they know what they lost out on. Single, self-sufficient, independent. It's the nine of coins. That's what they lost out on. The loyalty, the patience, the practicality, the self-sufficiency of that ten of pentacles. Booyah, baby. Like I said, you have that ten of pentacles. And this is getting a lot of people upset because of that legacy. Six of cups in reverse. Like I said, people from your past. They tried to siphon you. They knew exactly who you were. And they tried to say that they were, they were this. Mm -hmm. You got bad memories with them, so remember that, okay? Because that the Seven of Cups. Somebody doesn't have any more options. These people have no more options. You never really had a lot of options. So you learn to give yourself that option. That's why the Ace of Cups is there. <laughs> and it's off offering a new opportunity to stand with legit but somebody needs to sacrifice something in order to get these illusions away somebody's sitting in some kind of mind something i don't know mind control maybe i don't know it seems like as if they've been programmed from childhood somebody needs to clear their mind it's the five of cups with the queen of coins somebody feels in a lot of regret for the choices they made with this queen of coins now we had that king of coins remember so it could be a mother i mean um, a husband and a wife kind of situation here but somebody feels left out a lot of regret a lot of remorse because of this financial lack or spiritual lack take it as it resonates guys somebody oh it's the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck so you're getting a brand new passionate beginning and you're motivating somebody to really see who they are however you have that regret because somebody sacrificed somebody who was very self-sufficient and whatever's in the dark got uh, somebody you know in a lot of depression because what's in the dark always comes to light and that's why the justice is happening and that's why whatever was built on faulty foundation inevitably crumbles and now you can't build back on it. and this is why this king of cups is very upset because you have a king of pentacles coming towards you to match your energy and your energy is of letting go to any kind of energy that has tried to block you these energies are very much up in their head they can't eat they can't sleep why because you have the foundation the stability and the cup of love and you love on yourself equally duality light and dark and you will get this partnership whether it's sexual or platonic you're gonna get a um a soul partnership something that of equal value just like you the king and queen of pentacles right that's like the um, the marriage because you are valuable but you have that page of pentacles there so and it's in reverse so there's a lot of very immature people not willing to accept your value not willing to accept who you are this is why you need to know your value you need to know your worth and then you need to put tax on that bitch because seriously somebody is definitely feeling left out in poverty because of that immaturity and the lack of um apologies or acceptance and you said fuck this to the third parties you knew that they were just fucking uh what do you call it insecure so this is why they tried to do whatever they could when it came to betrayals and abandonment you know you probably helped these people they were probably your friends at one time you celebrated with them but look they did some nasty shit to you and they celebrated with you so you healed and you had to let go of them because you've seen how just how dark they were you had to heal from the heartbreak the betrayals the abandonment not feeling good enough knowing that really you're you are good enough it's it's them who isn't and this is why you're getting the new opportunity heart of the deck because you're the magician you have manifested this you want nothing one four 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 on the clock guys yes you manifested this you wanted a brand new beginning 
and you have somebody doing the same thing guys so you have like this major manifesting kind of going on right now and you are very stable very strong let's see what the ancestors gotta say okay? spirit guides you have the strength look didn't i say you're just you're so strong that was the last that was the last word i said correct spirit guides show me what's going on what's the ancestors gotta say for this reading okay you're going on a new journey so you're taking the leap of faith and you're saying yes to change and it's showing you the mysteries of life tapping into the memory you have this ancestral memory this feeling of love and wanting to share this so now it's time to be able to be open and share this love and speak your truth there's a truth inside of you that wants to be spoken and then expressed through your body through art through you know a birth maybe somebody wants to have a birth with you maybe you're pregnant maybe you're pregnant with an idea take it as it resonates guys but it's a new journey it's something completely new that you weren't expecting but you have to dance with the lies you have the truth and the lies here that's the duality guys somebody needs to see the truth and the lies to a situation so they can tap into the memory and go on a new journey and give birth to themselves be that beautiful butterfly or moth there's no fucking competition the point is is just to transform into something better so that this way we can help the planet and hunt after our vision so that this way we're happy in whatever choices we make because whatever choice we make is going to bring us abundance and that's all that matters and abundance is different to a lot of people abundance to me is my children happy and, you know so dance with joy and hunt after your um tribe okay it's time to go after your tribe you're gonna bring in your soul tribe so in order to do that we have to heal from the past we have to see that you know maybe the choices we made were the greatest maybe the company we keep we kept wasn't the nicest to us so we have to let it go so then we can bring in and allow others to come in no longer jaded by the external world okay so spirit guides what's you have the emperor and the upright like i said you let go of the past so that you can bring in this true emperor somebody who's protective disciplined you stand in your emperor status protective and disciplined you got the sun and the upright because like i said those people have the sun in reverse so they're very much in a dark place because they don't want to see the truth of a situation or themselves however you have the sun and the upright and it's talking about that positivity that freedom that fun that illumination you know the enlightenment that god or creator or source whatever you believe in gives you when you're happy there's nothing there and then you have the moon and the upright but there's a lot in the dark and this is why Sungai Dizu, God Creator, has chosen to blind you from these lower vibrational energies and what they chose to do to you because it's dark. The Hermit in Reverse is dark. People are watching you, spying you. Hi, Ben! The Emperor in the Upright. But so is the Emperor in the Upright. And he has the strength. You have the strength to conquer your own inner demons, to really push forward and do the things that you want to need to do in order to let go of this codependent devil reckless energy okay it's time to have like this war the devil against the sun but the devil doesn't win because the devil's in reverse it's all a mentality guys it's all a perception let's see what's going on with the juice spirit guides yeah so somebody's a player doesn't want to be a player no more is paying the consequences for that play of lifestyle Spirit guides, show me what's going on. Or somebody's panicking. Spirit, show me what's going on. I love you guys. Yeah. Love you. Okay, there you go. Now, we have panicking. Somebody is definitely panicking and they want to spin the block. Because, like I said, the world is uh, upside down and it has nothing to do with you it's only their choices like i said their fucking choices i'm telling you intuitive cash is always on point 
these cards are fun to use, but I really don't need them because everything that comes on my mouth, it always comes right into my hat. Somebody wanted to keep you stuck, and now they're stuck. It is what it is. It's the choices that they made, and that is it. They can only blame themselves, but they can also get themselves out of it. Believe me, I was on this path. I was stuck for a very long time. I thought that it was everybody else wanting to keep me stuck. And I'm sure it was, but it didn't help that I was in this lower vibrational energy, you know? Sometimes we gotta spin the block on our own fucking spirit. But you have somebody come in to spin the block. Now, it could be the King of Pentacles, or it could be the King of Cups. Take it as it resonates. Spirit guide, show me what's going on here. You got this bent out of shape card, yeah. Somebody's bent out of shape because you're a light worker. So you really are healing the collective. And the ancestors see this. This is why we keep our integrity. Even in the dark, we do good. Even when no one's watching, we still do good. Why? Because there is somebody watching all the time, guys. And this is the fucking, you know, the kicker. Okay, so... That's the scandals, guys. The ancestors see the scandals. People can pretend all they want. This is why you mind your motherfucking business. And this is why Sungai Dizu, God, Creator, Source, whoever you believe in, decided to make sure that you didn't see this. Because you ain't got no time for this. And they know that you have a good heart. So it's better to stay solo dolo. While the ancestors are dealing with this scandal and returning all the energy back. Because your doors are opening, because you chose to help a lot of people. Now, this is why people are scared, because you are a light worker starseed. You are from a whole different fucking planet, and people don't even know how to fuck you do it, but they're watching. Why? Because they want to know how you do it. You do it with a rude awakening. You have big things coming in. And whoever wanted to see you do bad is having a rude awakening. Because at the end of the day, yo, you are who you are. You say who you... It is what it is. Somebody tried to play games with their gifts. And you said, try me, bitch. Because you the wifey. <laughs> like I said, someone had you all wrong. And now the secrets are coming out about this husband. See, you got the husband and wife. Didn't I already say that with the king and queen of pentacles? Somebody's in their fucking headspace. Could be a husband. Could be this man wanting to come in to make you wifey. Take it as it resonates, guys. But somebody's all up in their headspace. Look. Double. Double headspace. So it's either you're in your headspace too about this. You know, take it as it resonates, guys. But somebody's all up in their fucking feelings. Because maybe you said you were done with the situation. Or somebody is saying they're done so that they can go and bring a love offer to somebody else. That's the that energy, guys. Because you have a beautiful heart. So somebody is eliminating one in order to go to another. Because you clearly, if you're someone like me, don't deal with third parties. So someone's going to have no choice but to eliminate one to come to another. But is that even good? Because shouldn't a person really heal? I don't know. I guess you'll know when you know, right? 22, 44 on the clock. Whatever is meant to be is going to be. Like I said, you'll know when you know. There is a lot of emotions, a lot of illusions, a lot of things in the dark. But what's meant to be is going to be. So you'll know when you know. Just know your worth and keep shining. Remember, we teach people how to treat us. Because there's a lot of mind games here that this Leo could be playing or an Aries. Take it as it resonates. Or you could have a Leo and an Aries playing mind games on you. Take it as it resonates. Put it, you, yourself where you belong. Seriously. But like I said, whatever is meant to be is going to be. So keep shining and the right people will find you. It is what it is. And they're going to feel in regret that they didn't take the opportunity when they had the chance. Because... Your energy never lies, and people who've been already been with you know your energy. You are the earth angel, and you're helping a lot of people. You have the heart to uplift those around you like an earth angel. You were born to shine, and that light is allowing a lot of people to heal. You're helping a lot of people, so keep being yourself, because you're the fucking magician. <laughs> and you have the power to transmute and translate and really bring in something beautiful for not just yourself, for your children, for the people that you love. So the man or woman that you choose to be with is going to be blessed as well. 
Now, there's a lot of word games, word magic here to this Taurus, maybe to your North Node, so that you don't go towards your North Node, or somebody doesn't, the lovers, so that you'll, you know, continuously feel like you have too many options, and not pick one, or, you know, take it as it resonates, guys, with somebody, this lover is feeling a little bit pathetic. Why? Because they're getting caught up. The narcs are getting caught up. They can't fucking win. Because you're the fucking magician and you're helping a lot of people get out of the mind games. Because you're the earth angel. And what's meant to be is going to be. So this Aries or this Leo is just going to have to watch you shine. It is what it is. Why? Because you got the pure heart and your payoff is fucking coming. And you're doing the right thing. Because you have a, a beautiful heart. So that love offer is definitely coming in. You chose to do all of this all by yourself. And the ancestors and deities are watching all this scandal go down. And they didn't want you to hurt your heart. So they chose to block you off from certain things so you didn't see it. So you didn't, you know, reach out and help. It is what it is, guys. Spirit knows your heart. Spirit knows you would help them in an instant. So in order for them, you know, to pay the consequences without you being in the way, they had to blind you from stuff. It is what it is, guys. It's rejection is protection sometimes. And sometimes source protects us from the things so we don't hurt ourselves anymore. Spirit guide, show me what's going on, what they see in the Yang Oracle. Yeah, see? Didn't I just say that? Spirit guarded you, closed you off, restricted you from seeing something because they knew your heart was going to feel some kind of way for that person. Even if they did you dirty, you still had a heart and you would never want anything bad to happen to people. Somebody's taking action towards some kind of new beginning. They seen that why you were closed off, why you chose to be guarded. Because somebody was being extremely controlling. Somebody used some kind of tactics to control you and your new beginning and now wants to come in and nurture you and have compassion because now they understand why you were so closed off. The whole time it was just about self-love. It wasn't about anybody else but your damn self. And this is why somebody wants to take action. Wants to go and find stability and harmony and the perfect flow in life. Somebody wants to balance things out with you after being so fucking controlled or after being controlling. Take it as it resonates or somebody might want to con come in and control you. So use your discernment. Like I said, guys, okay? This is a general reading. I'm reading for a lot of people. But this ego is really getting somebody in an uproar and you just heard that clarity guys somebody's vanity and ego is really getting to them because they can't accept that they've been assisted by the spirit guides the whole time to get out of this ego to hide the ego death and to really start reflecting on the choices that they made and have this completion so that this way they can have this transformation close out the cycles with the past people but instead, somebody didn't want to do that. They wanted to keep playing games in the past. Now, somebody has no choice but to surrender and purge out and release the past so that they go could go towards something new. This is relevant for us as well, okay, guys? Go at the bottom of the deck because you're the divine feminine. So you tap into that mother that mother nature kind of energy, that giving, that receiving. You have that fertility. Okay, this love, this respect, this is why I don't have sex. Like, clarification. You respect your body because you know it can happen. You're, you know, I really feel like the next time you have sex, you're going to get pregnant. So please be careful and wrap up because you don't want to sit in this lack mentality. Somebody feels a lot of lack and doubt because they feel like... If they surrender and give up this ego and their friends and their family, are you going to take them back or are you going to let them be into your, in your life? You know what? Somebody's very insecure, but look, somebody's still getting the courage and taking the chance. They're still going to do it. Even if they get rejected, then I just say that even if they're getting rejected, they still want this unity. They still want this transcendence. So they don't mind if they lose everything. They're packing it up and they're going to try it out because look, you're hot like fire. You're spicy to this person. Like seriously, they love everything about you. And now it's major transformation. It's transformation time, guys. And somebody really in this present moment is abundant. 
and his mem in those memories guys like i said they're really nostalgic about you and why you chose to be closed off why you chose to have this transformation understanding that it had nothing to do with nothing other than your own issues spirit guide show me what's going on with this star love caught messages okay so look that's all it was about yourself it says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but you can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment it was all about you you just had to let go of your resentments within yourself it had nothing to do with anybody else it was just not time remember i told you <laughs> wait it's like the right person wrong time or right job wrong time kind of energy okay guys it says don't rush it allow nature to take its course and then at the bottom of the deck here is this beautiful card and it says imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life it's time to let go surrender and allow nature to take its course we have to love on ourselves look we have a soulmate coming in like i said that divine partnership your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically like i said somebody's manifesting you you're manifesting somebody but it's about acceptance we have to accept each other for who we are what we are light and dark good and bad you know spiritual or not it says i accept every step of life that life presents me without resistance i try to find out what the universe is trying to teach me so that i can grow thus i advance in freedom on the path of life okay so that's that and then belief like i said even if you're spiritual or not spiritual i feel that somebody had an issue with your um spirituality or religion or whatever the heck you chose to do there was some kind of clash when it came to this and it says i believe in myself the beauty of life and the goodness of god thus i have the power to fulfill my dreams and will the almighty support me my life is showered in divine light and the heart opens to the power of the universe that's clarity again guys so let's check out what this past life is going on here okay please show me what's going on spirit guides yeah you have the rise of the civilization so you need to believe in what you this soulmate this acceptance of each other understanding we all need to make mistakes this person might be nothing like you ever um you know nothing like you ever liked before it could be completely out of your norm you know so take a new leap of faith say yes to change okay and it says obsession somebody is definitely obsessed with you it could be a lover it could be this jealous lover's lover take it as it resonates guys but there's some kind of military mindset somebody could be in the military who's obsessed with you but somebody needs to check their fucking um behavior issues and needs to let go of the past in order to start believing look the past is full of addictions and this is why somebody's obsessed they're obsessed they're addicted to you to your energy there's a rock bottom feeling here somebody needs to start protecting themselves and find that power within themselves do you know how you find that power and to get back your voice and to go towards the things you love by healing those childhood issues and seeing what they really are understanding that this oppression clarification is because of these childhood wounds and because people don't want us to speak up against that but the truth is where it comes in so it's okay to say that we're wrong especially when it comes to this royal relationship that truth is everything guys it's the adventure card at the bottom of the deck and destruction in order to go on a new adventure we have to dismantle and destruct the past so that we can bring in this royal relationship and stand in our truth heal our childhood issues and these addictions toxicities obsessions and really be strong disciplined to really see who's tried to oppress us and raise from this in our own power and go on a new adventure but it's going to take a lot of beliefs a lot of acceptance in one another 
and in this soulmate, new or old, take it as it resonates, guys. But let's see what the hidden truth is, okay, guys? Because somebody is in the darkness, but there is some kind of light here for you or somebody. It's time for me to heal now. Like I said, there is a light there for somebody. You have healed now. Somebody else is healing. And the person that's coming towards you, that this king of pentacles is structured, disciplined, knows what he wants, values himself and others. And I wish I could... Look. They wish things could be different. And I know it. I was a distraction from your pain. Okay? So somebody could have went to a lot of pain. You could have been in a lot of pain or you could be in a lot of pain. So somebody is worried that you're just going to be a distraction to them or that they're going to be a distraction to you, okay? And this is why you have to accept them, that we're not going to be perfect. They might not have any money. You might not have any. You know, it, it's, it's one where one is lacking, the other one is catching up. This is a team. This is that soulmate, okay? And you're not going to really care. It says, I'm becoming a better person. You're not going to care that they don't have or they're lacking in any kind of areas because you love them and you know that it's an equal give and take because where you're lacking, they're strong. This is important, guys. So really, you're both never lacking together. Never lacking together. This has allowed you to be a better person. This re new relationship is going to allow you to be a, a better person. But we have to accept it for what it is. So that this way we don't have these rose-colored glasses. You know, we're acceptance of it. Where there's no filter. And it, it is just us. Okay, guys? I says, nothing can stop you but you. Always remember that. Somebody needs to remember. The only person that's stopping them is them. Because it's called free will. So sure, we have these people in our head. And, you know, mothers and fathers. And, you know, their expectations and friends and these groups. But at the end of the day, does it really matter when it comes to an earth angel? Do you want to miss out on that? Do you not want to see the value inside of yourself and be this light for other people? The Libra is the Empress. Now, the lower vibrational Libra is not a good Libra. It's not a good person. But the high vibrational Libra is a good person. So take it as it resonates, okay? It says nothing is impossible. The word itself says impossible. Exactly. You can do this. You are possible. It is possible. At the heart of the deck... Somebody's playing both sides. Somebody is pretending to be your friend the whole time. They're, you know, doing some shady shit in the background. This is why we have to be careful of these people. And it says the past is behind you, so keep pushing forward and remember the lessons that got you to where you are. Keep pushing forward. Keep el eliminating it and allow new things to come in because those new things... Somebody's trying to do black magic on those new things, but it says there is light at the end of the tunnel. You might just have to light that bitch up yourself. This is why everything is being backfired. This is why somebody is in a mental entrapment. This is why somebody is very jealous and conniving and, you know, giving somebody a little bit of a hard time. And that's because they're using black magic on you to stop you. And they're jealous, these karmics. Why? Because it says, remember where you, because you remember where the fuck you came from. Even if, even if you're way up here or way down there, you know exactly where you came from. It's humble as fuck. And these bad friends, these bad ex-friends, ex-lovers, whatever the fuck it is, family members are salty. Because they reeled your wave, then they talked shit about you, trying to pretend to be you the whole time. They were playing with your fucking kindness. Now they gotta be careful. Yo, I don't make it up. My, my ancestors are what I'm telling you. Tasha's, Tasha's intuitive tarot. Intuitive. I wrote intuitive for a reason because, yo, every single time this shit comes right out my fucking mouth into my hands. I love my fucking cards. That's why I still use them, even though I don't need them. <laughs> I love you guys. So let's see what the. Moonologies has to say for us, okay? Spirit guides, what's the message? So it says, emotions are running high. The emotions are running high, okay? Excuse my sons in the background. Excuse them.
teenagers. It's time to be real. <laughs> it's time to see that emotions are overflowing. Emotions are getting the best of everybody. It's that major super moon. So it's time to leave the past behind us. I don't fucking make it up, guys. It's time to be real. Leave the past behind you. Heart of the deck because emotions are running high. And somebody needs a fucking reality check. It is what it is. Somebody needs a reality check. Let's get a message from the plant world for you, beautiful collective, okay? Because we all need some healing. We all need some guidance, guys. And we, sometimes we all need a little, you know. So, spirit guides, give us this little self-heal. That's all we need is a little self-healing, guys. Yo, my ancestors, I'm telling you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the share button. Hit the uh, donation button. Do all that fun stuff. And tell your friends. Get the word out there, okay? I love you guys. Self-heal. Self-heal restores our innocence and trust. It deeply relaxes energies, brings us into the moment where we can feel less pressure to perform. It helps us to slow down so that we can be more present in our lives. So somebody, like I said, is being pressured to perform and they just want to fucking, you know, not, not have to do all of this. So... This is how we self-heal. Somebody is going towards a sacred purpose, okay? And this sacred purpose is going to give you this fucking internal flame. Light that bitch up yourself. Remember that dark cave, right? Yes, you have this ancestral legacy, this ten of pentacles. And it's an ideal time to plant that garden of Eden. Like I said, you are that mother or the father. Take it as it resonates. And it's time to summon your power. It's time to take back control and dance with that internal joy, that internal flame, that in dance of life. And go with the flow. It's time to let go. It's time to cleanse so that you're able to receive these new blessings. Go towards your sacred path, towards your north node, like I said. So that this way we can see the truth of a situation. Take the blindfold off. Bring in justice to ourselves and those around us. Remember, manifesting for the greater good of all. And a um, higher level commitment, soulmate, relationship, um, marriage. Those are for, it, it's a bigger picture, right? So we're not getting into these relationships selfishly. We understand that we're getting into them because it's about the awakening. I don't make it up. Your consciousness is awakening and you're becoming attuned to the message of stir and nature. So trust your psychic abilities. It's about helping other people, guys. And going with the flow and showing others that they too. It's about helping this planet really find solutions to get them us out of the situation that we're in. We got to pay attention to our bodies and flow. It says you can't control life's events. You can only control how you deal with them. It's easier to go with the flow when life challenges you. Emotions can overflow when dealing with emotional issues and body. What parts of your body do you need to look at more closely? What's functioning and not functioning in areas in your life? And do you have, how do you feel about your body? Okay, ask yourself these questions so that this way you can really go with the flow and become the goddess or the goddess or god of your life and grow from the situations. Okay, it says God, God, the goddess. Embrace the feminine. Create and be gentle, nurturing yet strong. Do not listen to those who want to keep you small. Believe that you are important as the stars in the heaven. Growth. Growth requires you to step out of your comfort zone. Growing pains can help in gaining momentum and wisdom and experience. The old must be left behind before growing into the new. Sometimes we have to let go. Even if we want them for the rest of our lives, it's not good for us because we need equilibrium. And that's okay. We need to have gratitude for the times we spent with these people, for the opportunities we had or will have. <laughs> Remember, sometimes we have to be grateful for the things we didn't even have yet or we don't even know how we're going to get it. Okay, it says focus on the things you do have rather than things you don't have. Gratitude is another form of prayer. Practice daily and appreciate everything and everyone in your life. Some of my friends ask me, like, how can you be grateful for something you don't even have yet? And I'm like, well, why not? Why not? It just shows, them. you know, it lets the universe know that I'm ready for it. Because I'm grateful that I have it already. See? 
clarification. Spirit guide, show me what's going on with this um, energy cards, and then we'll get the last closing message for you guys. Okay, guys? I love yous, and thank yous for spending some time with me. So we have the woman holding the coin, like I said. So you are very valuable. You are the matriarch. You are the next generation matriarch. And you're showing people how to get out the mud and really value themselves. Like I said, get it out the mud. It's the door to, to value. But in order to get this value and this status, we had to have patience, understanding. Right at the beginning, remember, divine timing, 10-10, right? And a lot of people are in anxiety because of the choices you chose to make. You got that 10 of pentacles. It was all choices. It was all divine timing, understanding and having patience and waiting for those doors to open. When one door closes, another one opens. So you waited for those possibilities. And now... You did the work. You deserve what's coming in. And look, it's the sacral chakra. It's love. It's time to open up to love. It's time to be passionate. It's time to understand you're beautiful. You're sexy. You're vibrant. You deserve love. You deserve someone kissing on you, hugging on you. You deserve this too for yourself. If you don't want another person, it's time for you to start loving on yourself and being grateful for the things that you don't even have yet. Because you got a thinking man here and you got the angel of balance. Somebody is thinking about how they can bring balance to this earth angel. Bottom of the deck because the magician and the mirror. Somebody is very much the magician and is manifesting somebody to come in. Let's do the last closing message for my beautiful collective. Spirit guides, ancestors from the St. Francis Oracle deck. What's the last closing message for my beautiful collective? What do you want them to know? Last closing message. Thank you. Now we have number 16, and 16 reduces down to a 7. So you have that angelic assistance. But somebody is wearing a mask and is about to take it off. It's the 16 is under the mask. Okay, it says confidence putting the past up behind you. Through experience of the past, your confidence is growing. You no longer feel the need to hide behind others. At last, you can see and accept that you are a wonderful individual in your own right. You are looking for a new challenge which inspires and drives you. There is, a there is no time to waste as you are ready for action. Tears of sadness are now long gone. These difficult experiences were a huge learning opportunity, but you have learned difficult lessons and realized that you have made they have made you who you are today. You may feel you still have a way to go before you are fully confident, but know that you are on the right path in getting there. Take life one day at a time and each day that passes you will move closer to your goals <laughs> i love you guys i hope this helped i hope it resonated i hope it gave you the clarity that you needed today to motivate you to push you to do to do better to know that you're doing enough <laughs> i love you guys if you just want a more personal reading, I'll put all my information in the description bar. Okay, guys, I love you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Bye.